Breakfast <laughs> Breakfast Club number 10. Let's get it. What does wellness or balance mean to y'all? Uh, I think it's just like having control over the priorities in your life and yeah, just keeping control. That was the, that was like the best answer yep. I could ever ask for the list. Agreed. No, I would say like it's like I guess like maintaining school and then like social life as well. <laughs> and uh, I would say like that's like a big thing. Like you can, like I don't know like if you focus heavily on just like one thing like all school like yeah you get straight A's but then at the end of the day like not dude like it's like you're just doing homework all the time like that kind of sucks. But then on the other hand, like if you just like party too hard or like just hang with homies, then like you lose school and you can't even do that anymore. So you gotta like maintain. Yeah, but wellness is one of the wild ones is like like your health and like mental development. Like based on that quiz. Yeah. Like I think about that that shit. Bro. Yeah, like the like the well like, even though like the sex and stuff. Oh, the consent? Yeah, yeah, you can yeah. always verbally yes, bro. <clears throat> Everything, dude. Yeah, that's just crazy. What does it mean to you, Emil? Um, that I'm maintaining physical and mental health, the wellness, and then also for school. You need to be able to be stupid in school, but also have a little bit of fun. Like yeah. that. I didn't really talk about that too, like, I guess, yeah, like, physical health. Because, like, I like, got sick for a while, like, just me personally, like, I got sick, and then, like, stop going to the gym. Like, it's not like I'm a huge guy, but, like, but, like, going to the gym just, like, helps me, like, in the day. Like, it really nice just to go. Just keeps you active. Yeah, I want to. Uh, do you, I don't know. Uh, do you encounter any stressors that you think are going to impact your wellness or balance? Explain. Not rushing. That sucked. That was a huge stressor. Cause now I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, really. So now it's like I'm trying to like catch up on everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like it's classes, cause like just class, I think will always be stressful. Like no matter what, like it's always something to do. But then like you're also trying to like yeah do some other stuff, and it's like hard to like try and like I guess like do really good in like a bunch of different areas. Like it requires a lot of time. In one thing, and like, yes, here, like, time management is like, key. That's what everyone tells you about college, like, uh, manage your time, and, like, like, work hard and play hard, kind of. But, like, it's really hard to, like, find that balance, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that's, like, been hitting me hard, especially this month, is just we've been traveling every week. So, it's just been really hard to, like, stay on top of my stuff. And I don't know, it's just like a, a completely different experience than what a lot of other people are getting. Mine. How about you all? Mine was track, obviously. Like we got we had we had a schedule change. So we had six thirty weights in the morning on Tuesdays and Thursdays and then one o'clock practice and then six to eight study hall. So it's like but like I can make most of my homework time in study hall. Mm -hmm. And then like like that's why like Tuesdays I'm like, yeah, I can't get Tuesdays with me that because it's just mm -hmm. a whole bunch of just nonsense. And after class, I can't get any other time. That's the real one. No, I feel that. Like Six thirty weights. You guys really do like a lot of like a flyer energy suits and weddings all the time. Um honestly no, I'm a jumper, so it's all legs, but like we do we do like body weight and upper body training, like the pull ups and stuff, but like I do upper body my own because, you know, gotta do that. Yeah, I don't love the upper body. Uh, you guys have any stressors you've encountered here? Probably, yeah. probably just my math, because <laughs> that's really hard. And the Alex, like, is just always really hard, and I always have to go to you do have another like stretch that I'd probably say, honestly. It's like not being home. That kind of sucks. Like I'm like literally stay away and yeah. like 15 hours drive and then like a five hundred dollar plane ticket. It's so almost just like you need your space. Yeah, honestly. Like I'm like, I'm like really like I love my roommate is chill. Like I'm not really trying to like have a break. Yeah. In all honesty. It's like 
Yeah. Kids can sit in the water, dude. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are some of the strategies or resources you use to maintain balance? Explain. Obviously, think tank. Like with schoolwork, I think this helps a lot because, like, one, like you learn how to do it, doing it, but also I like, feel like it takes like a lot of stress off you, just like getting it done. You know, you have other people do it. And then also the rec center, dude. Just like feelings and shit. Because like honestly, like, like if I like didn't feel anything, like it was just like lazy and just did homework and just like laid around like out. That would be terrible. Yeah, absolutely terrible. So. <clears throat> uh. I think it's just like, yeah, develop a routine and stick to the routine. It's gotta be working, obviously. I don't know, I haven't really taken advantage of many of the resources like offered on campus and I really should, uh, but I don't know, we still got time here. And yeah. I'd say like having a calendar helps. Once my tests, I don't forget. Definitely, yeah, I play it, I play it. Yeah, I would say like caps and stuff, like honestly, like like on the low, I like did try and like go there and like see what's up just to talk and like it's the most like like not helpful, expensive guys fuck <laughs> on the line. Yeah, I used to go to like caps and like they just What is that? It's like the it's for the like the it's like an athlete I think they went to high school mm -hmm. basically. And like they have like Million tutors and like advisory letters. Like you can't like not have help with something. Yeah. Like, they, the girls know everything or whatever. You know, like it's just weird. But they don't give me everything. I need a place. Or like if they have like you if they set up if I have like midterms or something like that, it's in my schedule. So like if they put my counselors know so they'll set up like a study session. I'll get an email like oh you have or no for the study session that's this day. Well, it should be this day. Like your exam comes in, this day it'll be for something. That's awful. I need to know you want to have to leave Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. To conclude the conversation, did you pick up any strategies from anyone else? Uh, I think we're really all the same. Someone said like the planner was a good idea. Yeah, yeah. but I like my, I had one in high school that just gave me, so I just grabbed this and like, this thing's dope, honestly. Like I would forget half of my stuff if I didn't write it down on the lunch. That or like my phone too. Like whenever I like advise me a point better or something, I'll like put it in my phone and like over yeah. it. I just have to Google like the Google Docs or anything and I like do like connect it to Siri. Mm -hmm. She tells me like, yo, like, I'll just, she just starts talking. Like she'll be like, mm -hmm. hey, what do you want to say? And I'm like, oh, yeah. Like, it was kind of like using it as a thing. Yeah. Like, I put it on my phone, because I was on my phone and my computer. Calendar, but I had a calendar for like the first week, to be on like, the first week, and like, everything was perfect, and like, we were going behind the song, like, shit. But I had the calendar. I don't even know where it is now, so. <laughs> <laughs> I was the one for the first week, and I just, just did it. So I think that's about it. Hope you learn maybe something from this. <laughs> Take it. Oh, God.